heart behind that product was really to build a product that was easy to use, uh, that was accessible to the average researcher, that was not in intimidating, uh, that wasn't going to break the budget, and that would allow you to create a very precise profiles to investigate the impact um, of temperature profiles, light cycles, uh, variations in, in uh, geographic uh, lighting and temperature profiles, um, blends of different LED lights, so light, uh, light intensities, light wavelengths, and allow us really to get a grip on, on how those various factors impact algal growth. So we wanted to build a system that was very flexible, easy to use, um, and was not going to break, break the bank really for the average researcher. So a real workhorse um, tool that was a bit different from other offerings on the market. So we're trying to distinguish ourselves. Um, and uh, it was actually based around a lab flask, which was the first big decision that we made, was try to base it around something that people are familiar with, that's based on a cheap vessel that everyone might have on the shelf that they can use and then build an environment around a lab flask, a controlled culture environment. We realised early on that we wanted to actually have this be tested by real algal researchers, and the UK is actually quite well placed to have quite a good history and, and repertoire of researchers in this space. And so we wanted to work with the top algal labs in the UK, and so that was the University of Cambridge, UCL, uh, Cranfield, which is just down the road from us, and Scottish Association for Marine Sciences, and CCAP up in Oban. Some of the things that the feedback that we got that really encouraged us was when we went to UCL, when we set up, one of the PhD students was using Algem within two hours of us installing it and had an experiment to share with us the following day. And so um, obviously they were very, it was very easy for them to pick up and be very comfortable uh, with how the, how the, how the product worked. Um, and the feedback that we got from, from that lab was, uh, any busy algal lab, one will not be enough, they'll need to have more than one. And so again, that encouraged us. Um, that product, that beta test model, has been used continuously ever since we installed it. Um, and so that's exactly what we wanted to see, was that we made a product that was going to be used continuously by people in the lab and was going to become a workhorse for data collection. Um, SAMs uh, represent, I mean, they, they, they have been fantastic in terms of the, the testing that they provide and the feedback, which has been helpful in terms of doing some tweaks to software and, and data analysis. Um, but they also liked it so much that they ended up buying one, so they've been represented our first customer. Uh, and Cambridge, actually, we couldn't really have wished for anything better from Cambridge. They ended up with a publication uh, from, from doing some of the work uh, with that, with, with that Algem unit. And so collectively, we've been really bowled over by, by the, 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 um, the experience that the different groups have had. We didn't want to dictate to any of the groups in terms of the experiments they did. We wanted to simply just place a unit there and say, get on with it, see how well it works to allow you to do the experiments that you really wanted to do, experiments that you may not have been able to do uh, in the past because the equipment wasn't available to do that. And that's essentially what they've done, and that's been fantastic for us to see.